Are you ready to make the switch? Welcome back everyone, it's Levi McPherson, author of the Switch Point Strategy System, a simple approach to changing your process so that you can change your outcome. Now today we're going through the second step or second section on how to own your brand. We're here on my back porch where I like to do barbecuing. Now traditionally I'm not really a recipe follower. However, if I wanted to, every kitchen in America has a plethora of books. Every bookstore, uh, every um, aisle in, uh, in your major grocery stores are going to have books that you can get that follow a process to get a specific outcome. So, you probably guessed the second step to owning your brand is to understand your process. Now, whatever your brand is currently, there was a process that led you there whether or not it was a job that you had, whether or not as a company, st from a company standpoint, it was an exposure uh, that you had with a media source, whether or not it was an association you had with a strategic partner, there are steps that have led you to where you're at currently with your brand. The first step is to understand what that process was. You can't change your process unless you understand what it is currently. The second step to, owning, um, to understanding your process is to compare it to the processes of other brands. So are there brands that are similar in your niche that have a different outcome than you currently have? And if so, what was their process? Every single outcome that we experience has a process attached to it. So what I suggest that you do at this point is just take out a piece of paper draw a straight line and on the one side it's your current outcome uh, whatever your current brand is and in the last uh, video we talked about defining your brand but just define what it is currently not not just what you want it to be what but what it is currently and then go step by step down your process line and decide what it was that made you the brand that you are currently after that determine what your brand should be what you want it to be and look at what those steps are that will create that brand. Again, you can look at the brands of other successful companies and see what steps that they've gone through, or you can simply map the steps that you feel will lead you there, but you have to understand processes in order to own your brand. In the next section, we're actually going to be talking about leverage. How to get leverage on that process uh, that's all for today. If you liked what you heard, please like, share, pass along, whatever you need to do from a social media standpoint, and uh, we'll see you on the other side. Are you ready to make the switch? Welcome around. Uh, today we're... Uh, oh, dang you.